Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to the series where we get all the Creation Club mods starting from level one. And in this video, we're going to get the Lord's Mail, a mod that I never reviewed simply because it was appalling. However, I've been told it's received an update which dramatically improved the armor texture and has made some Red Guard outfits available at Radiant Raymond. But let's go and see if that's true. And this will just be a quick overview, not one of my full reviews. Anyway, let's go get it. And first things first, let's head over to Solitude. First time into Solitude with this character, so uh, I'm not going to bother with the whole uh, execution thing. Yes. They can't turn Uncle Rob here. Tell them he didn't do it. Positions. Sorry, you need to go home. Go home and Traitor! You betrayed us! Lock the city gate. Get on with it! Hold a minute. No, it's down here. I've got a mod that's changed solitude, so I'm a little bit lost. True, I may look the part of dashing swordsman, but I prefer the art of wit after that war. Okay. Okay, fair enough. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. He'd be insane to... He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Chance Every way. day Come on. more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. Okay. Oh, what's closest? Has to be the uh, stables. Okay, let's go. We got a horsey, so. I'll wait till the morning, I think. There's my little whisper. I think there's a fair amount of lore with this armour as well. Um, I haven't really bothered looking it up. But, uh, I, I'm not sure if it's from Oblivion or something. But anyway, it is Elder Scrolls lore. So, it's in keeping with the game. I've got to say, a lot of these uh, Creation Club mod quests are pretty damn generic now. I 
think they need to up the game a little bit. Unless it's for the really cheap cheap mods, then that's fine. I don't think this was cheap when it first came out. I think it now you look bastard. I think it was um like four dollars or something. And for what it was, I, I well we'll see if the um textures improved here, but uh, it was appalling. Absolutely horrendous. Yeah, that was it. Green ones. Very nice. Thank you very much. Where did wolf come from? handy. I like the Simpsons actually. And there's another one left isn't there? Oh there he is. Come on, why can't I get you? Everything's gone a little bit weird. Oh, that was weird. Yeah, it's almost like I was overburdened then. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay, now the thing about this, it's cursed at the moment, so it effectively uh, reduces your health, stamina and magicka by 50%. And you have to go to Shrine of um, uh, Kinnereth to get the, the curse removed. So... Uh, Yeah, that's a little bit lost saying that it makes them feel a bit tired and don't tell any potential buyers there. Uh, yeah, so we have to go to Solitude, to the Temple in Solitude. So we'll head off back there. Okay, so back in solitude, let's go and get this curse lifted and then we're going to have a look at it. I'm not interested, Jari. It doesn't matter how many times you ask. Fletching suits me. It's difficult and sometimes tedious. Think this is my second favourite city in Skyrim and I, I... I always end up living around... or Lakeview Manor or um, Whiterun. That's why I set off with my characters nearly always, and uh, I should really get one that stays in solitude, because it's a nice city, actually. Blessings of the eight divines upon you. How may I help? Okay, so that's done. Let's take a look at the armour. Okay, so this is an artifact created by Kinnereth. Um, it's heavy armour with a rating of 45 and a weight of 32, so it's not bad if you're into heavy armour. It's triple enchanted, which is good, um, where opponents in melee range, and I think that's about 10 feet, have five points of health absorbed per second. Uh, increases poison resistance by 75% and increases magic resistance by 17% and that's not bad, it's, it's a good enchantment. It can be improved with an ebony ingots, it counts as imperial armour for the purposes of the matching set perk. 
Now it's worth noting that this can be useful to wear while swimming as it will damage underwater enemies uh, like swordfish. However, brawling while wearing this armour will violate the rules of the brawl and will give you a bounty uh, for assault. So it's worth bearing that in mind. All in all, actually, this isn't bad armour. Uh, far, far better than it was. It was absolutely diabolical uh, before, and especially on the female form as well. Uh, now it actually fits quite nicely. So all in all, yeah, this is um, not a bad armour to get if you're playing an Imperial type. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you later. Love you.